Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a video called Visiting King David in Heaven. Um, this is going to be uh, the start of a series where I'm going to uh, visit saints in heaven, and I'm going to visit uh, one room uh, in their house, each of the saints. I'm going to visit uh, one room in the house, a different uh, room uh, for many of them. Um, and I'm just going to describe uh, the room uh, that I'm visiting and then uh, uh, talk to the saint. Um, so here we are uh, in uh, a room in King David's house. Uh, it's got a grand piano, it's a white grand piano, um, and David's uh, sitting at the grand piano uh, playing a song. Um, it's a, a, a piano lounge. Uh, there's uh, 50 uh, tables and chairs uh, that people can uh, sit down like a restaurant meal, um, but uh, there's... Uh, there's uh, about 100 people there. There's 50 chairs and tables. Uh, there's about 100 people there in the room. And uh, King David is uh, playing uh, some worship music and singing to them. Um, there's a, a bar. Uh, they serve alcohol in heaven and people can uh, choose alcohol. There's a bar on the side and there's a coffee shop on the side. Uh, uh, you can uh, get coffee or juices or, uh, or milkshakes. And uh, there's a, 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 a servery of, of uh, pastries and, uh, and croissants and uh, different um, parts of food. So people have got uh, drinks, uh, on their table and uh, pastries, and uh, they're enjoying uh, a concert uh, that King David's putting on. Um, this is uh, a place in heaven. Uh, everything in heaven is free, and uh, these people would have uh, signed up somehow uh, to get a private audience uh, with King David. Uh, King David uh, does uh, big concerts in stadiums uh, in heaven, uh, but this is a more private affair and uh, uh, they can get his autograph and uh, speak to him. Um, everything in heaven is uh, free. Uh, so uh, they, they would have uh, free admission uh, to this concert uh, and it would be very special for them um, the cakes and the pastries and the milkshakes and uh, the alcohol, uh, all of that is free. Uh, in heaven, uh, everything is free. Your clothes, uh, your house, uh, your electricity, your internet. Uh, if uh, they've got uh, something like internet in heaven, everything is free. Um, so uh, David's uh, singing uh, there. Um, uh, and uh, I'm just going to uh, lean across and tap him on the shoulder and he's going to speak to us. Uh, so I've tapped him on the shoulder now and uh, the first question uh, I've got for him and I'm going to have uh, these three questions uh, for all the saints. Uh, so the first question is, uh, what are you doing in heaven the second question is, what do you like about heaven? And the third question is, what is your message for us? So this uh, series of videos, we're going to meet uh, saints out of uh, my book, uh, Great Cloud of Witnesses Speak. Uh, it's going to be in the same order as the saints are mentioned uh, in that book. And we're going to uh, look at uh, a saint's house uh, a room in their house. Uh, I'm going to explain uh, what the room uh, looks like. Uh, and then we're going to cover these three questions. What are you doing in heaven? 
what do you like about heaven? What is your message for us? And we're going to cover those three questions. So the first question is, what are you doing in heaven? And uh, um, King David says, uh, I'm a music instructor in heaven and a music teacher. I teach people how to uh, play music and how to compose music, how to write music. And I teach uh, people uh, how to uh, be musicians. Uh, some people uh, only learn uh, one instrument. Uh, they learn the piano off me, uh, teach them the piano. Um, and uh, some people are more inclined to uh, make up lyrics and uh, make uh, uh, songs. And uh, I teach these. These uh, people in the audience here are uh, all students of mine. Uh, they've uh, been invited, uh, both, uh, both uh, the guests, uh, both people at each table uh, were students of mine and uh, they're uh, happy uh, to be here uh, and on this occasion. Um, I was just playing uh, a song of mine uh, that uh, uh, went well in the awards in heaven. Uh, each week in heaven, uh, Michael Jackson uh, mentioned this in his book, Michael Jackson Speaks from Heaven, but each week uh, in heaven, uh, they have a competition with all the songs that get released uh, in heaven on a Sunday. And uh, the whole of heaven listens to the songs uh, during the week of all the people who've released them. And they vote uh, from uh, one to 10 on the songs. And uh, the top five songs uh, that uh, get the most uh, marks uh, get the most votes, uh, play in the throne room. Uh, song uh, number five uh, plays first, then song number four, song number three, song number two, and song number one. And uh, this song I was playing uh, got voted uh, the third highest uh, worship song uh, in heaven in recent weeks. And um, so they've got two charts. They've got a contemporary chart where uh, songs are more like ballads um, and uh, they've got a, a worship chart. And uh, this song I was just playing uh, came third in heaven uh, in, in the worship charts and in recent weeks. And um, it's, uh, it's a favourite song of uh, the people here. Um, so I, uh, I uh, train people how to uh, play music. Um, I teach, um, you can uh, expand this room, uh, this room uh, can expand and uh, each of uh, the tables and chairs can turn into a piano and uh, we can have 50 uh, pianos uh, in this room and uh, we can uh, play, uh, play uh, scales and uh, play uh, songs in this room as a group. I can teach uh, people as a group uh, to play. Uh, one thing about heaven uh, that you'll find is uh, rooms can expand. Um, you can uh, have uh, this room expand uh, twice its size or three times its size, and uh, heaven just accommodates uh, the expansion. Um, so I teach people music, and uh, some of my students have gone on to win uh, the competitions in heaven. Um, you see, uh, not everyone 
uh, get uh, to do a gift uh, that they were gifted with on earth. Some people on earth uh, should have uh, been a musician, uh, but they never got the opportunity to uh, have their own piano or have their own keyboard. They never got the opportunity to write songs. Some people on earth uh, had uh, limited um, limited scope and opportunity as a musician and in heaven they can. You'll find uh, if you release a song in heaven uh, for the competition, everyone gets to release a song uh, when they're finished with it and they're happy with it. And so um, you can be in heaven uh, walking down the street and hear your song playing on the airwaves. Uh, so uh, for the little people uh, uh, that arrive uh, from Earth uh, who've uh, never had a big audience, they, they have their song played to the whole of heaven and the whole of heaven votes. Um, whether you come fifth or first or whether you come 265th, uh, you get uh, the votes collated and you get told that uh, your song came 265th. And uh, I've had uh, many songs in the hundreds and in the thousands. Uh, not every song uh, becomes a bestseller in heaven, um, but uh, songs are meaningful uh, to you, the artist, and uh, <clears throat> the whole of heaven gets to listen to the song. Um, You've got a program on Earth where you can uh, touch your mobile phone and it can listen to the song playing on the radio and tell you what uh, the song is. Um, Matthew has seen uh, people with that program use it. Uh, well, people in heaven have I've got iPads and they can do that when a song is playing that they really like. And so these uh, musicians that release songs that are just a, a, a little person, just a person who hasn't got much of a following, they get a following in heaven as people start to download the song and listen to it. Um, there's a program uh, in heaven, uh, a database in heaven where uh, your fans can write to you and suggest song lyrics and suggest changes in lyrics and suggest changes in the music. And uh, it's a database where uh, you can communicate with the artists. So um, everyone in heaven who writes music uh, has <coughs> people download their songs and uh, communicate with them. And uh, as heaven is all about uh, getting better. And, and every musician in heaven uh, gets better and they improve and they become uh, fantastic. Um, and uh, so there's people that have been in heaven uh, for thousands of years that win the competitions. And there's people who, like Michael Jackson that have only been up there for a number of years and have won the competition. Um, so it all depends on uh, how close you are to Jesus and how you develop your musical gift. So that's what I'm doing. I'm training people. I also lecture uh, on the Psalms and, and, uh, and Solomon's Proverbs and Ecclesiastics. I speak on uh, my son's writings uh, also. And uh, I teach uh, classes in heaven uh, on the Psalms and uh, on the Proverbs and Ecclesiastics too. And uh, I uh, do uh, really good uh, Bible studies and uh, teach in depth about uh, what I meant in each of the Psalms and uh, each of that. So I teach music and I teach uh, doctrine. And uh, I'm uh, really fulfilled. Uh, it really uh, makes me happy uh, to uh, have students uh, do well in music. And there's a, a certain joy uh, that uh, people 
uh, get uh, when they uh, first learn uh, their first song and they can play a song and uh, sing a song. And um, it, it really is a gift. Uh, it's like reading and writing. It's a, it's a gift that liberates people and music uh, really liberates people. I've got a lot of time in heaven. I teach a lot of people. I teach uh, people one-on-one -on -one and I teach them in groups uh, in this room. Uh, with uh, 50 uh, pianos and we play together and uh, we learn things together. So that's a little bit about what I'm uh, doing in heaven. What do you like about heaven? Uh, I have to uh, be honest, uh, I love uh, teaching. Uh, uh, we've just covered how I teach in heaven and I really I love that uh, when when you've got a gift, uh, uh, it it really pleases you to exercise the gift. So I love uh, teaching, and I love uh, doing concerts, and I love uh, worship. And uh, I've actually got uh, my own temple in heaven uh, that uh, I worship in, and uh, people have services in. And uh, I've got my own temple. Um, but uh, what I like about heaven also uh, is, uh, is the food. Uh, I really love uh, food. Uh, they make um, some great drinks in, in this uh, piano bar. And the pastries are hand-selected. Chefs uh, make the pastries. And all the um, all the delicacies uh, in this uh, piano bar, uh, chefs um, uh, bring them in each uh, morning, and I do concerts here most days. And there's always a waiting list of, of people to arrive here and to hear a concert. Um, people who've heard my songs win competitions. They've heard my songs on the wet airwaves in heaven. Um, I've got a lot of fans and uh, they love these intimate, uh, personal uh, concerts uh, where I go seat to seat and fellowship with the people, have a conversation with them. Uh, so it would be like um, one of your favorite uh, singers uh, going to a concert where there's only a hundred people at the concert and uh, meeting uh, your favorite singer face to face and having a conversation with them and uh, speaking to them and asking the questions that you want to know the answers to. Um, so uh, this operates uh, in a fine level and I do it in my own house. So I've got many other rooms to my house. Uh, you can imagine this is a big room, but uh, I really love to eat. Uh, the, the pastries here are beautiful, but uh, I love uh, restaurant quality food. Uh, I love uh, visiting uh, different uh, restaurants in heaven. Uh, the restaurants in heaven don't uh, keep the same menu month after month. Uh, they're constantly changing their menus and their dishes. Uh, there's constantly uh, people uh, coming to heaven and learning to be a chef and getting uh, jobs in restaurants. And there's always uh, new dishes and uh, new uh, cuisines to explore. Uh, we've got every uh, form of cuisine in heaven. Uh, there's French cooking, there's uh, Indian cooking, there's uh, Spanish cooking, there's Portuguese cooking. There's an Australian hamburger. Uh, so there's uh, all sorts of uh, food uh, to consume. Um, and I, I love that. I love uh, sharing a meal with a person and uh, it really makes uh, people special. I like to uh, reward uh, my students um, who uh, go well in the competitions I like to uh, have a meal with them and uh, spend some quality time with them. Heaven is uh, just uh, the, the, the best place. It's just uh, the most exciting place uh, 
to be in and uh and everyone is just full of joy and happiness and uh i like to share myself around um when you're a star and i'm a star in heaven uh when you're a star um people like to meet you and you have a lot of fans and um they call them fans on earth it's different up here in heaven everyone uh in heaven here is equal and uh i don't look down on fans uh, i don't look as though i'm anyone better and a lot of uh my fans uh, become students uh they they come to learn what i do and i've got a whole lot of uh, students that are doing uh what i do now so i've got um all of these uh, students that are at tables here uh, have got their own uh, studios uh, in their own houses and they teach students too and uh, so these uh, these hundred students here are my best students but they're all teachers too and they all teach music so each of uh, these hundred have had uh, a song in the top five um, and uh, it's a special day uh, for some of the best musicians in heaven to be in this room with us. Um, but uh, they all teach and they all have a passion for teaching. Not all my students go on to teach. Uh, some of them are just uh, musicians and uh, get a lot, a lot of joy out of releasing a song. Can you imagine... Um, releasing a song and having millions and millions of people listen to it and hundreds of thousands of people download it and uh, you get all the official statistics off the database uh, that um, you know let's say uh, there's a billion people in heaven and you play your song that uh, you release uh, for the competition each week and out of the billion people say a uh, hundred million uh, uh, download the song and uh, there's uh, heaps of messages that comes from your fans and uh, time is uh, can be expanded in heaven uh, you can uh, sit down for a couple of hours uh, to read your messages but that couple of hours ends up being weeks but uh, you uh, just spend two hours in heaven but you've spent a couple of weeks at the task so heaven's uh, time can uh, decrease and increase and expand um, yeah so there's amazing things about heaven so uh, there's some of the things i like about heaven what's your message for us um, i'd have a message uh, for you uh, to find out uh, what you're gifted in, find out uh, what uh, you want to do. Uh, Matthew has a book uh, called Finding Your Purpose in Christ. And in that book, he uses uh, an exercise that uh, he learned off someone else. Um, if uh, you uh, had someone buy you a lottery ticket, because uh, most Christians won't gamble, and someone bought you a lottery ticket and you won $20 million in the lottery. If you won $20 million in the lottery, you never had to work for the rest of your life. What would you choose to do with your life from that point on? Would you go and train to be a chef and work in restaurants as a chef, as an apprentice chef? Uh, would you become a florist? Uh, would you become a musician? Uh, would uh, you go to Hollywood and try and be an actor, do acting classes? What would you do uh, with your life if you won $20 million and money wasn't important? Well, that's the thing you should do with your life. That thing that you would choose to do is what you should do with your life. And you can't always uh, leave the job that you're in uh, to do that special thing. Uh, but uh, you can make inroads to do it part time and uh, and start to do it. So um, find out uh, what uh, you're meant to do with your life and start to do it. Um, Jesus has uh, given us gifts and 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 talents, 
And uh, he said in the uh, parable of the talents that uh, the guy that had the talent and buried the talent was cast into the outer darkness, cast into hell. Um, and uh, it's a very scary thing to have a talent on earth and not to use it. And uh, so I want to encourage you to find out uh, what your gifts are, find out what your talents are and uh, do it. Um, put it uh, to work, get yourself uh, to work and uh, fulfill um, your uh, purpose in life. Jesus uh, gives us all gifts and uh, talents, like I've said, and uh, it's up to us to find our purpose, find what we're here for and, uh, and to do it. And uh, I served as a king on earth and ruled as a king and I've got certain leadership skills in heaven, uh, but I really liked uh, being a worship leader. I really love uh, worship and that's what I do in heaven. I, I teach music. And, uh, but I teach uh, doctrine and theology and I have uh, got a leadership uh, position in heaven. I sit on heavenly councils and with prophets and decide the future of the earth and uh, do uh, things in authority too. But um, this is about you. Uh, you need to uh, work out uh, what you're here for and uh, you need to um, purposely do those things. Matthew's a writer. He's been called to write and he's written 80 books. Um, in this uh, series, uh, he did a book called Great Cloud of Witnesses Speak um, and he interviewed 19 saints and those 19 saints uh, from that book are going to be interviewed uh, in these videos and this is eventually going to become a book. So uh, if you want to know uh, who's going to be covered in the videos, uh, you can uh, pick up that book and read that book. Um, God bless you and keep you, and uh, I uh, pray that uh, you will uh, find your way to heaven and uh, find your way into this room and uh, watch me play a concert one day. God bless. <laughs>